the all-time best, the franchise, John Cena. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from West Newbury, Massachusetts, weighing in at 251 pounds. The higher the stakes, the better John Cena gets. Hey, some would say John Cena has nothing left to prove, but he still keeps fighting. And we are about to see yet another fight from Big Match John. The animal has arrived. And his opponent from Washington, D.C., weighing in at 290 pounds, the animal, Batista. A multiple-time world heavyweight champion, a Royal Rumble winner, Batista has earned his spot atop WWE. A founding member of Evolution, but the animal himself has evolved to the top of the food chain in this industry. You can't get rocked by Cena's incomparable power. Now, this superstar is going to want to stick and move to the best of his ability because if John gets his hands on you, your night's over. John Cena and Batista is that they really have had parallel paths throughout their respective careers. Cena has always had to deal with Batista breathing down his neck, and more often than not, he's handled his business. You have to think that rankles Big Dave ever so slightly. Last thing I want is an angry Batista. That's why I'm here and John's in there. Counters, this could be an opportunity. Oh, man. Kick right to the body. He's lost some of his wins now. Cut him right in the jaw. Ugh, what a shot. Corey, we know Batista's powerful, but has been a Hollywood star for a number of years. How will his time spent away from WWE affect him? It's difficult to measure the extent of a long layoff. However, with Batista, his training during time away includes Gracie Jiu-Jitsu, so his mat game stays sharp. So, the better strategy might be to keep distance so the animal doesn't utilize his MMA skill set. Looking to cage the animal. Oh, John Cena. Oh, adjustment. The Cena put this one away. So the rope stopped the pin. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. Ooh. Well, this is a warning to grab our stuff and go. Keep it in the ring, please. Saxon's a very fragile boy. Oh. So confident is Batista, who thinks he's got... Okay, consider that a harsh 
lesson. It really seems like Batista is in a world of hurt. No question about it. This is a very dangerous situation now. Batista needs to find the beast within him now. Back around into a neck breaker. Guys, they are getting way too close for comfort here. Yeah, I've seen this before, and it doesn't end well. Thrown back in under the ropes. Manages to beat the count and get back in the ring. With no time to spare, really. Oh, a spine buster by Batista. plotting my payback but for tonight at least the victory belongs to the face that runs the place the self-proclaimed hell's favorite harlot and you can see exactly why the following is scheduled for one fall Making our way to the ring, representing Toxic Attraction from Atlanta, Georgia, Gigi Dolan. A woman who began her wrestling career at the age of 17 years old. And she's one of the youngest female competitors in WWE, but already has a veteran's mindset. For you, Dolan can be as tough as nails in the ring. And with toxic attraction by her side, nothing can stop her. An up and coming talent in the women's division. Yeah, I'll tell you, a few women have the heart and determination of Aaliyah. And from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, Aaliyah! She has the quickest victory in WWE history, beating Natalia in 3.1 seconds. Hey, who knows, Michael? Maybe she'll break that record tonight.
Man, look at Aaliyah. She's just so excited to be performing for the WWE Universe tonight. Well, let's see if that excitement translates to a win. Bell rings and Gigi Dolan has that look on her face, that look that says she's ready for a fight. Ready for a fight and then some, Cole. The thing people need to realize about Gigi is she'll go to any lengths that she needs in order to put away a competitor. Some may not like it, but you don't have to like it. You just have to accept it. Dolan certainly not looking to make any more friends here in the women's division. Doesn't care for girls who style them quite align with others in the locker room, whatever it takes. And then we have Aaliyah, a record-holding superstar with the fastest win in WWE history. A lightning fast 3.17 second match ended in victory for her. That's how you make quick work of an opponent. Sounds crazy, but it's true. And that win wasn't the result of physical speed alone. It was also quick thinking. Leah has proven to be a savvy competitor who is always watching for opportunities she can capitalize on. In your estimation, Corey, what's it going to take for Aaliyah to win this thing? It's simple. Really, she needs to give everything she's got. The deeper Aaliyah digs, the more heart she puts into this fight, the better her chances of clawing her way to the win. Ooh, what a damaging blow. Sweep and now the octopus stretch is locked in. Think about all the pain she's in right now. There's no shame in giving up now. What is she gonna do here? Is she gonna tap out? No, able to slip underneath to deliver some blows, creating the break. Boom, what a forearm. Yeah, she got a huge win here. This sort of win shakes up the women's division. Aaliyah calls herself the bougie badass, a nickname that describes her fancy lifestyle and her willingness to fight hard in the ring. As glamorous as she is competitive, that's Aaliyah. She's never been one to shy away from the spotlight. But when it's time to get serious, she's on business. It's a work hard, play hard type of attitude that has paid off for Aaliyah so far. And with a superstar like Gigi Dolan, you cannot give her an inch as she will take a mile. There is something unhinged about her once she really gets going. I'm gonna tell you, you said that, Saxton. There's nothing unhinged about being a vicious competitor. It's not her fault the competition. And apparently some of the announced team can't seem to handle a truly dangerous woman. Given her smaller build, do you think some opponents might underestimate Aaliyah? It's an easy trap to fall into. But while Aaliyah might seem like an easy target, that's far from true. Underestimating Aaliyah is shoulders down. Come on, well, oh, using man. the ropes for leverage. Oh, no, that is despicable. Bad competition, bad officiating on display there. Here is your winner, Gigi Dolan. That came out of nowhere. And an unexpectedly quick end to this match. Clever is really the only word that can describe that victory. However you want to describe it, it certainly worked.